Despite its pledge to denuclearize after meeting with President Trump, a new report has unveiled the locations of 13 missile bases in North Korea. If you read the uh, internal media in North Korea, or you watch it, you'll see that they repeatedly state that they believe they are still in a state of war. Uh, because of that, that's why they've uh, created small bases dispersed around the nation, and they make them very difficult, not only to see and identify, but also to neutralize. This is Sakhon Mole, one of the bases revealed in the report authored by the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Located approximately 53 miles from South Korea, its facilities are built deep within nearby mountains and can house short to medium range missiles capable of mounting nuclear warheads. The entrances of these facilities are protected by massive mounds of dirt 60 feet high. What this does, it makes it extremely challenging to be able to neutralize these underground facilities with anything but precision guided missiles, and even then it's a challenge. When the missiles are needed, they are put on mobile launchers and spread throughout the region, making them difficult to track. The facility is part of what experts call North Korea's missile belts, a system of missiles placed strategically across the country. Mobile short-range missiles are closer to the border with South Korea. Intermediate-range missiles are in the middle, and intercontinental missiles are housed in the north. From a uh, strategic standpoint of view, you want to expand both, all three belts. The report's authors suggest the bases they have identified are operational, which would run counter to Kim Jong-un's pledge. There haven't been major provocations since then, but the administration doesn't plan to lighten up on North Korea anytime soon. So we have given a lot of carrots up until now. We're not going to get rid of the stick because they haven't done anything to warrant getting rid of the sanctions yet.